goes all right here we go folks we are currently in the game at which point i hang on a second my scoreboard is not the way that it's supposed to be one moment my apologies I need a quick fix on that there we go this is still alpha software so it's not quite doing what i want to do half the time all right that should be fixed there we go and back into the game we go and nothing of value was missed here we go folks this is the guy that could take it home for mouse sports he is hero marine the teenage terran player from germany he is in the blue trunks playing terran on this whirlwind and this is going to be an interesting matchup massive map lots of space and we've got far positions by ground versus his opponent axiom crank captain of team axiom takes out hope but still a lot to play for here this is going to be very difficult. Axiom got themselves in a really tough position. They ended up losing three players to Mana. They then ended up losing a fourth player to Hope. Not very well executed, I've got to say. Looking a little bit ropey. I wouldn't want to make excuses for Axiom. I mean, it is like 2 a.m. over there, and they're playing on laggy servers. But even then, it's not really something that those guys care about. And as such, I don't really care about it either. They don't think it's that important. So, hey, whatever. They also, of course, have their GSTL match tonight. Not really sure what all those pings about. They have this, their GSTL match tonight against LGIM, which is probably going to be the toughest team match they have ever played in their lives. So, yeah, it's a, it's a tough day for them. We'll see how well they do. All right, Crank's going to make a move down here. Scouting quite early. M admittedly, of course, it is Whirlwind, so you kind of have to. He's going to go and check that area. I would imagine that Hero Marine is going to go check the same area rather than go cross. There we go. He's going to head in that direction. They're going to pass by and say hi. See what's going on. Hey, how's the life of a probe? Autonomous. How's the life of an SCV? Dangerous. And then uh, Crank is going to realize, all right, that's where my opponent is. Okay. I'm going to go check him out. And he can actually get into the base here, unless we see a wall off from Hero Marine, who hasn't built his supply. Ah, yes, that's why he hasn't built his supply yet. He's building his command center there. Probe is actually not going to get into the base, but he can confirm the position. The problem is he can't confirm the fact that there's an expansion. And this is where mind games can start to come into play, because Crank has lost to cheesy play from Hero Marine repeatedly. And as a direct result, Crank could be feeling pretty paranoid that there could be some cheese, there could be some proxy going on, and he may decide to not play this right. We'll find out. In a straight-up fight, honestly, I'd say Crank can win. But the problem is, if he mind games himself, he's in a very stressful position right now. This is He is team captain. He is the ace. He is the guy that has to carry this team to victory. And he has already had to play down from match point once. He's going to have to do it again. And then potentially has to fight Hero Marine again if they ace him. Or Hope. Or another player. Maybe Mana comes out. I don't think so. Mana in PvP against Crank doesn't sound like something I personally would do if I were... Mouse Sports team manager, but you never know. Heart of the Swarm, everything's changed. Who knows how good Mana really is at PvP in HOTS now? We don't know. He lost to Alicia, but that was kind of a build order loss. So who knows? All right, let's see what Crank has up at his sleeve. He is expanding. He's really not doing anything all that unusual. In the meantime, Hero Marine, I would imagine, is going to go for drop heavy play here. And my justification being that that's pretty much what Hero Marine did a lot of in E-Set. He did a lot of drops. He kind of tore Crank apart. That's kind of Crank's one big weakness right now. He doesn't really have the ability to defend that well against drops. He's been working on that in practice, but who knows if he'll be able to make that happen and actually execute this against Hero Marine. Hero Marine going for the scout heal. We'll be able to see the Nexus and confirm that everything is there. He knew it was coming down anyway. He knows about the Mothership Core. He's not going to get into the base, I don't think. The Sentry will prevent that from happening. I think he saw the Robo there, actually, which is even kind of a win. Yeah, he, he may have clicked it in time. He may not. He saw a building. Don't know if he clicked it in time. Proxy Pylon coming down here from Crank. Interesting move. Obviously, it's not in a really threatening position because Hero Marine does have a bunker, but the risk is if Hero Marine gets busted here with, like, a big strong push, then that might hurt. I don't know if he can really put out a strong push, though. He's got a Mothership Core, yes. Doesn't have a Void Ray. Like, a Void Ray or an Oracle bust here is great, but he doesn't have a Stargate, so that's not going to happen. So what's he going to bust it with? An Immortal? Maybe. Can he bust it? More to the point. There's a lot of Marines coming out. Factory coming down here as well. If there is a Stargate Starport coming out, it's a little bit late here from Hero Marine. 
he may decide to actually go with Widow Mines for defense and then get his star port up and then start to drop. We'll find out. Well, the proxy pylon's in a good position. Here comes the hallucinated phoenix to get some information. It's going to scout. And it's going to also see the timing of the factory. It's actually going to go right over it and see, oh, look, there's a factory building right now. Okay, so I know he doesn't have any starport units. I know that also means he's been spending his gas elsewhere. What has he been spending his gas on? And the answer to that is upgrades. He's been building upgrades. He's got stim and he's working on his plus one. He doesn't have marine shield yet. Can Crank crack this more to the point? Or does he even want to? He's got Double Forge and Robo Bay coming up. So I would safely say no. He does. He has no intention of getting aggressive right now. Doesn't want to go for it. He's only he's starting his double upgrades right now. He's actually behind in upgrades, but he will be able to catch up with Chrono Boost, especially with Double Forge. He's going to go Warp Prism instead. He's going to do his own drop play. All right, interesting. That will get shut down if Hero Marine decides to build a Viking. But the question is, does Hero Marine do that? He's probably looking for... Medivax, and he's going to go for drops. More to the point, can Crank actually defend against it? With a Mothership Core, yes, he can. Assuming that he's in the right place. The question is, where is that Mothership Core? Where is the Mothership Core? Where is... There it is. Okay. I was going to say, it's in a decent position to use Photon Overcharge, so that should be good. It would be a kind of funny situation if we get drops on either side. We very well might, and I don't know if Hero Marine's actually prepared for that. He's front-loaded a lot of his defense, and he's most likely going to use these medevacs to drop. And if this Warp Prism gets into play, then this could be very damaging. Warp into the main base could hurt. It's probably... Uh, Timing-wise, it could warp in with the plus one, but maybe not. DTs from Crank. That's unexpected. Throwing out a lot of tech here. Potentially risky. Hero Marine is moving out, but he doesn't have Marine Shield yet. He's got Stim. His Medivax will be following him up. Does he decide to split that off and get aggressive? There's, with Phone on Overcharge, there's probably enough to defend this, but only just. We'll see. War Prism currently goes unscouted right now. It's making its move around. Crank, on the other hand, sees this aggression coming. He's got Observers in play. Colossus, it will be out in a second, but I don't believe he has extended Thermal Lance. One more warping comes in, Stim comes up the ramp, and says, hey, look what we got. Now what happens? Does Hero Marine decide to attack here? Colossus now in play. A lot of Marines with no shield. Not ideal, especially not with that coming out. Cranks with a proxy pylon here. Where's that Warp Prism? Warp Prism is down there. He's actually not doing anything with it yet. Proxy Pylon has been placed. It's very odd that he wouldn't go in here. I guess he wants to save the Warpins for this attack. But honestly, I don't think... He Hero Marine has nowhere near enough to do this attack now, I don't think. Unless he moves in a lot more units here. Now he's going for a drop by the looks of it. You would think he would. Oh, no, no, not yet. He still doesn't know about the Warp Prism. Now the Warp Prism comes in. Now there's barely anything in the base. This, this should hurt a lot. It really, really should. Hero Marine's kind of caught out in the middle of nowhere. He doesn't have enough units to attack yet. Hero Marine is scouting, trying to find things, but this Zealot Warpin's gone right into this line. It's actually a DT. Three DTs right now, and this is just slicey, slicey. This is, he's one hitting his way through these SCVs right now. There's another DT down here. That's some pretty damn good damage. Down goes the Tech Lab as well. Crank is doing significant damage with this. The question is, is he doing enough to make it worthwhile? All the DTs have now been cleaned up. Eight workers killed. I don't know if I'd... And he's going to lose the Warp Prism as well. That was a mistake. Crank should have moved out there. That was really slow. Bad reaction time from him. I don't think that was good enough. Uh, yeah, it slows his opponent down. Yeah, it pushes him back. But he lost the Warp Prism and 3 DTs in trade for some lost mining time and 8 SCVs. I don't... I don't call that a good trade. Not for 3 DTs. He does still have this, though. He's got that proxy pylon. Uh-oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. This is the kind of thing that Hero Marine is willing to do. He throws SCVs into the mix. He makes this really powerful force here. There's only one Colossus. Two Colossus, in fact. Where's the other one? Please don't tell me. Oh, he's left it in his base. He's got to be so careful here. He needs to bring that Colossus in play immediately. If he loses... Oh, if he engages here without this Colossus... He's seen what's coming. He needs to move this Colossus right now. There we go. Okay. This is a powerful push. There's a lot of SCVs, a lot of meat in the front here. The force fields have got to be good. Photon overcharge goes in. Don't know. I think maybe they're a little bit premature. Hellbats now being dropped as well. The Observer will see that coming. How does he respond to it? A couple of Stalkers blinked in would be able to deal with it. There is, of course, a Photon Cannon, but that won't be enough to shut this down completely. This could be very dangerous. Single Zealot moving in. It's like, oh, a Zealot against two Hellbats? Maybe not. Don't think so. Here comes the push once again. How many Force Fields are available? Certainly some. His defense is holding pretty well right now. Not warping in anything from his Proxy Pylons to actually deal with this. Another drop comes in. 
Hellbat Drop has been dealt with for the time being. No damage has been done, but Hero Marine is going for it right now. He has got to try and break through with this push. Extended Thermal Lance is about to finish. He's got three Colossus on the field. Here it comes. Coming in for the drop right there. He boosts all the way back and actually boosts all the way around here to try and flank this army. Trying to focus fire on the Colossus. Hasn't been able to bring them down right now. A lot of Marines getting absolutely annihilated right here. Zealot stuck at the back. Not a good position here. Good force fields coming out here from Crank. Now the Photon Overcharge contributing to it as well. No Colossus die. This army is going to get crushed. Hero Marine. GG's right there. And Crank takes it to the ace match. Revenge for Crank after his E-set loss to Hero Marine. Crank with the excellent defense completely shuts down that aggression and an immediate GG from Hero Marine. And now it's 4-4.